Well, it's been a few years of me trying to help my father with his diet, explaining to him over and over and over again, most of his health issues will go away if he does the right things. Unfortunately, it's gotten to the point where it's taken a health scare with a major surgery to convince him to try it. You know, he's only been doing it for a couple of days. I'm not sure how much he's been sticking to it, but hopefully he can do it for two or three months and start feeling better. I'm gonna show you guys the foods I purchased to sort of replicate his regular diet. And again, this is not even close to perfect. It's not as good as you can do, but it's certainly a step in the right direction. For an entire diet, this doesn't seem like that many foods. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only 10 individual items, give or take a few. And to me, that's one component of a healthy diet. You're sticking to 10 to 20 core foods that you know cooperate with you and your stomach. Uh, my dad can't do without a cup of coffee in the morning, so instead of like Folgers and a really horrible creamer, I have an organic, freshly ground coffee and sweetened condensed coconut milk. The downside with this product is it's in can lining and of course, coffee has some anti-nutrients. It's not that great on your stomach, but a lot, a lot healthier than what most people are consuming. And guys, sugar is for feeding your gut bacteria. You're supposed to have a balance of everything in the diet. Sugar does become problematic in high toxin, high Wi-Fi environments under certain circumstances. So he normally has bacon and eggs. And since I can't get incredibly high quality, you know, Iberico bacon, corn-free, soy-free eggs, and even so, to take stress off the liver, you want to go lower fat. Yeah, this turkey bacon is probably still fed corn and soy, egg whites, corn and soy. Um, apple cinnamon oatmeal is decent. It's not properly fermented, but it's okay. It's easy on the liver. You're getting protein. It's lean. There's not too much fat, so you don't have to be concerned about toxins in the fat of the animal. And this apple cinnamon oatmeal from an ingredient perspective is pretty good. And that's the theme I did with a lot of these processed foods. Honestly, things that I think I would be able to eat and follow uh, to a certain degree. You know, if I was eating all of these foods myself, I wouldn't feel too bad. Uh, moving on to lunch. It's a roast beef sandwich with some potato chips. These are fried in some vegetable seed oil, which isn't the best. Naturally fermented sourdough bread. I actually eat this stuff myself every day. And, you know, we don't have a grass-fed roast beef, but... Getting some more protein in his diet is as important as possible. And beef, regardless of grass-fed or grains-fed, is a good source of B vitamins. And my dad eats so much other crap. I'm sure his testosterone is already in the dumps anyway, so I'm not too uh, concerned about the extra estrogen. And that's all he's been eating. He's been having two meals, really, most time. But I figured I could get him something else in case he wants dinner and a snack. So I, I forgot to buy clam juice and breadcrumbs, so I was going to have him do, like, a healthy organic linguine and clams if he wants it, uh, which can be done very easy on the liver with just a, like a, a small amount of clam juice and just some breadcrumbs. Not the best, not the worst, uh, but you know we're avoiding some of the seafood pollution that we can. And although these cookies are not organic, from an ingredient perspective, again, they're still not the best, but compared to every single thing else in, in the store, the only real option, most of them have palm oil or fillers or, or some you know compounds that are hard to process by the body in them. So back to nature, chocolate chunk cookies, uh, I guess the repetitive quote I've been saying this entire video, easy on the body, easy to digest, easy on the liver, despite not being organic. And you know, my understanding and knowledge of nutrition is what has dictated me to choose these ingredients for him. So uh, th this should work in the time being. Uh, the other main thing he's doing is a supplement protocol that I do have him on. I guess I could show you guys that. So I got him one month, which means four of these. And he he's got quite a few things in here. There's a B complex, there's vitamin K2, there's ascorbic acid, selenium, iodine, magnesium, manganese, molybdenum, uh, every single thing that would be deficient in an average standard American diet. So he's taken about I would say 10 different supplements on a daily basis. Uh, that's part of making him feel a lot, lot better. And these aren't the ones from organ supplements that I sell. So this is more of a temporary thing for a month because you know the B-complex I'm giving him, uh, the doses and forms of certain nutrients in this are not something I would take consistently over a long period of time. As I mentioned yesterday, it can be hard to sway people away from modern medicine and convince them that you know, after a couple of weeks, a couple of months of following a proper diet, you're going to feel a lot better. The reason most people don't do that is because 
the dietary advice and nutrition advice they're getting is not impactful enough, especially when compared to an immediate operative procedure or a response from an antibiotic or a medicine a doctor gets you. You know, people want to see quick results when that's not the reality. And, you know, unfortunately, my parents didn't listen to me with my grandmother. She's not doing so well now. So hopefully they listen to me to some degree and stay around a little while longer. Uh, but part of it might have been, you know, just the cost and not being comfortable trying to pick out healthy food. So that's why, you know, I'm, I'm purchasing this myself. And, uh, you know, to, to me, money doesn't matter in the context of, of certain things. So uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this gave you some tips to kind of steer your family in the right direction. Uh, you know, again, the breakfast is decent quality protein, fiber, keep the gut motility high. If you didn't have the oatmeal in there, you might have some issues. You know, the same thing. We want to have a decent amount of protein, carbohydrates to feed the gut, fiber to keep up gut motility with every single meal. And uh, the supplement regimen is really uh, fixing a lot of the, the deficiencies that are in the actual diet. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, go to frank defilecom to support me through all of my businesses. Frankie's Arrange Meat, Organ Supplements, all that stuff. But well, thanks again, guys. And I will see you tomorrow.